I was going to do a tip guys, my season two settings here in Vanguard. So, basically, honestly, I haven't changed that much, honestly, with this game, because I haven't been touching my control settings. You know, I have tried certain stuff, but obviously, that didn't really work for me. So, for my graphics setting now, for this play, I, full, I play on full screen borderless. My VSync gameplay and menus is off. Frame rate is on custom, of course, so all the way to basically on infinite. Um, Display gamma, regular 2.2, uh, RGB, focus mode is off. Display adapter, which is my um, graphics card. Obviously, some of these graphics settings, stuff like that, would be different depending on the PC you have. So, this is technically your mind right here. Um, quality presets is custom for render resolution is 100. Dynamic resolution is off. Now, my texture resolution is high. Uh, texture filter is high. Particle quality level high. Particle resolution is on high. That's basically the default with this graphics card, to be honest with you. Um, let me see. Bullet impact and sprays is on. Definitely want to see that. You want to see bullets hit the wall. Shadow quality is high. So you can people see people's shadows. Uh, test solution. I did, on, I did on nearby only because I don't need my game to look crazy, crazy from far away. You could do nearby if you want to do um, on, just automatic. You could do that. But I just did nearby. Uh, let me see. Level of detail, distance, range is long. In other words, game does look actually nice from the range. It's look choppy, nothing like that. Or piece of little. Um, nearby level of detail is high. I said that already. Distance level of detail is high. Uh, clutter draw distance is long. I don't know what that even means, to be honest. Uh, let me see volume metric quality levels high as default. Um, this is for my shadow and lighting settings. Basically, screen space shadows are on, so matte resolution is ultra. That was default, honestly. Uh, the sun, the sun shadows is high. It's the matter you do that one. Delta over here basically just based on your PC or personal preference, to be honest with you. We have that. Um, screen space re reflection is high. Um, I have no um, NVIDIA DL DLS. Uh, yeah, all these is basically all for you. My anti and alien thing is just automatic. Pretty sure that's automatic. You just film it SMAA TS2 and stop. Mm, that the field is off because it still makes camera lens. Basically makes it blurry at a certain range, which it should never do. I don't know even an option, but that's just kind of dumb in my opinion. Um, FOV is 120, of course. Definitely. And use that and it's so effective. Um, camera movement should be at, should be at fifty percent. Just don't want to have their camera shaking like shit when they're trying to play the game. <coughs> um, motion blur, world blur, weapon blur, all that's off. Should not be playing with motion blur on. The worst thing in Nvidia Reflex low latency is on. That's just default. Uh, now for my audio, it's on ninety, which I didn't even know it was on ninety. To be honest with you, but that's that. Uh, music volume is zero because definitely don't want to hear that. Um, my hit market sounds on Vanguard. I, I try to do classic, but I think what classic is you can't even tell when you get the kill. It's just straight to hit market sound, nothing else. But I just did um, the Vanguard sound. Um, audio mix is headphones, of course. Cushion music is on, and um, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure which same way shows I play on. Uh, I play on Boost on um, Boost High. For some weird reason, it's just not on here. Yeah, it doesn't say like. Boost high and all that. Oh, that's kind of weird. But uh, I'm pretty sure I'll play on Boost high. I don't know. I honestly don't even know at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it I have no clue. I don't know. But that's that. Uh, I'm not gonna do interface. The interface is just personal preference, of course, for certain things. One thing I would just say is like probably name tags and crosshair visibility should be on. You definitely want to see um, people at a certain range. Uh, mini map is squared. I think it comes default round. Definitely put that in square. Pro mini map rotation should be on. And uh, yeah, this is a personal preference. So now for my controller, I play on a 7 7. Like I said before, this is the Pepper Engine. I just play 7 7. That seems to be the best one here. To be completely honest with you, that feels good. My uh, ADS sense, everything sense is a 1. Didn't touch any of that. Uh, let me see. I play tactical flip. I like to slide with um, R3. You don't have a scuff. I like to slide with R3. That feels kind of better. Um, let's see vertical aim standard. Yeah, everything is standard here, basically, except for my aim response curve type, which is dynamic. Got to use dynamic on this type of engine. You know what I'm saying? Dynamic, dy it damn near just aims for you. It feels definitely way better. I just use dynamic on this game. Vibration is off. I play with vibration. I ain't gonna lie, kind of weird. 
um, weapon fly threshold. It's a threshold. Oh, boo. The threshold. The flyer button. Which they like gun triggers with different thresholds and fire different weapons. Honestly, I'm pretty sure it works for PS5 people. So if you have it on, I don't think it even helps. Or if you have it off, it's just obviously gonna be off. Um let's see advanced. You got EDS sensitivity timing instant. Made that instant. You know what I'm saying? You wanna aim as quick as you possibly can without a delay. Um yeah, I think everything else might just be fun. Oh, my dead zones is up right here. It's a, it's a 15 because I have horrible stick drift on this controller. So I just did 15 for that. For the left stick and right stick is a 10. Stick drift is kind of getting annoying right now, so I had to bump that up from my file. Um aim assist of course is gonna be on. I do default. I try to use the other ones here, or at least I try to use precision. I just didn't like it that much on this game, to be honest with you. I just use default. I'm not gonna mess up nothing I got going on here. Um maybe that score is gonna be on. Let's see. I don't know if blind fire was on here. Blind fire is on, I'll use that. Mm, now automatic airborne mantle apparently before if a game first came out this helps you i think it helps you slide better but it messes up your jumping so damn near can't even jump in this fucking game which is kind of weird to me but that's the thing that um let's see man two stands queuing on automatic i, I use automatic tax right i ain't trying to fuck on my left stick that much auto move forward is all sprints cancel reload that's definitely a personal preference you know i thought about putting it on because I feel like I've been in certain situations where I feel like I should have ran but I'm just sitting there reloading. I don't know. That um sprinting door bash that worked half the time but that's on. And uh yo yeah definitely slide behavior should be tapped so you can slide cancel definitely instantly and better. And yes or aim down sight behavior hold equipment behavior hold other than that that was pretty much it. Honestly that's my settings. I play on a seven seven regular dynamic aim assist but um yeah, just hope you guys enjoyed this season two setting video. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new.